Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here. It is time for another book review. I have been slow in getting my reviews out, but that's okay. I've been spending more time doing something else, and that is writing and also learning a new skill of crochet. So my reading has somewhat taken a back seat, unfortunately. But I found this book, which is the book I'll be reviewing today. It's by David Maloof, and it's called The Happy Life. And it's described by The Australian, which is a newspaper here, as a poised and deeply humane essay, beautifully written and carefully argued. Now, I found this book last week when I was walking through the Swinburne University campus. I had gone to Hawthorne, which is a suburb here in Melbourne, because there's a university there of Swinburne University, and I had never actually walked through the campus. And I thought, well, I'll do something different. I like to discover my settings. I like to walk around and just take things in and decided to go there just on a whim. And I found the Swinburne University bookstore was open. There was no one around on campus. I think it's holiday time. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe students are just at home studying because you can do that now. <laughs> but I found the bookstore and and in the bookstore, there was a secondhand book sale. And I trawled through all the different shelves and found David Maloof's book. Now, when you come across a David Maloof book, there's no qualms here. You just buy the book. He's a very well-known Australian author and writer. And I think I have reviewed a book of his here on this channel. I may have. It may have been before this time. But anyway, David Maloof usually writes fictional accounts and the way he writes is utterly beautiful. He's a very good author. He's very well known. His prose is brilliant. It's His books are mainly, you need to kind of digest them. You need to take them slow because there's a lot of thought that goes into each of the sentence and you're more than likely to read a sentence and then you start to ponder about what did he mean? Yes, that it could mean that or it could mean this. His prose is very symbolic, I guess. The book here, this is a non-fiction book, which is very different to the way he writes. And The Happy Life is all about an essay where he's pontificating and sharing his reflections on what makes humans truly happy. So he defines the word, but then he gives, I guess, some reflections on what they might be. And he comes to some conclusions, or maybe he doesn't come to conclusions, because through each chapter, it's all about the possibilities of what really makes us happy. Is there one thing? Is it art? Is it the flesh? Is it happenstance. What is it? He also makes claim that in this very busy world of ours where we're constantly on notice, notifications, pings, we're also obsessive, narcissistic, is there a place for being happy or does happiness really mean that the definition of the word is somehow tainted or diluted simply because we are a very egotistical self-obsessed people. Throughout the book he also uses examples of artworks. He uses examples of poems like Ovid. He uses examples of writers, Russian writers in particular, the one novel that one day in the life of Ivan Denisovich. Sorry, I can't say that Russian name, which I have read the book, I must admit, and he draws upon the life of Ivan a few times in the book as him being happy, although that's the one area of David Maloof's book which I didn't agree with, because if I was in a Russian gulag, stuck in Siberia, and freezing my ass off, and thinking that on that day, just because something went my way, what that would that make me happy? No, I would just be happy in that point in time. Whereas I'm in an environment that actually makes me utterly miserable. So this book made me think that I don't think we can be happy day in, day out. We have our environment or the conditions 
that makes us reflect on those moments in time where we feel at one with ourselves, that we feel some kind of joy, some kind of comfort, some kind of just knowing that you're meant to be here at this point in time, at this place, and you're feeling really good about yourself. The book, The Happy Life, made me think about what makes me happy. I have come across a couple of other articles online, some blog posts from various people who talk about this very thing. It's just been really interesting to explore happiness because for the last, I guess, oh, last couple of years now, what with pandemics and lockdowns, I have been exploring more of and trying to do myself things that actually make me happy. But I know that I can't be happy all the time. I'm going to have ups and downs. In the book as well, and there's a hefty component of the book, as you can see here, and it's something I didn't know when I bought it, is that there are responses. So David Maloof approaches other writers and other people of note and asks them to respond to his essay on what they believe. Now, some of them agree with David and some of them don't, which is a good thing because ultimately it shows that happiness is really, you can, I don't think you can define happiness. Everyone will think of it in different ways. And so what these writers and what these uh, responses show that some of them agree, some of them don't agree, some of them are quite strongly worded with regard to the fact that they believe that people can't be happy because we're self-obsessed. We're in a very egotistical, culture now everything has changed everything is different so therefore how can we say we're happy we're actually quite miserable and research even shows that fact or does it it's all quite confusing isn't it <laughs> but nevertheless the happy life by david Relouf, which is the search for contentment in the modern world if you're thinking great here's another book that i can add to my list that will show me some tips and techniques and some hacks for how to be happy this is not it Happiness is really an ability for you to sit and reflect on what these things are that make you happy and then to invite those things into your world or to change the conditions of your environment to make that happiness fall in. I don't think happiness is based on other people. I think it's kind of something that you have to take charge of yourself in some way. Sometimes it's going to be hard, especially if you have some demons that you have to try and fight. Other times it's just a matter of tweaking some things in your environment and to kind of open the doors for those possibilities to come in so that you feel at least yourself. You feel yourself coming back to yourself, if that makes sense. Anyway, so that is my review for The Happy Life by David Maloof. If you've read any of his books please let me know what's your favorite and why share it in the comments below and in the meantime we have a think about what is a happy life to you what's what does it mean and how are you inviting us inviting happiness into your life okay then that's it for me bye for now thanks for listening and thanks for watching